Are you looking for somewhere with a little bit more history to go camping? Well, maybe you might want to go and check out the old schoolhouse site here at Toomblop East. The Toomblop East old schoolhouse site is, well, it's a nice little spot actually. I've never been here. Um, have a look around, it's quite small. It's about seven kilometers out of Tolmy, um, back towards uh, Stringbark Creek Camp Reserve. Um, and it's only about another three or four k's back to the Stringbark Creek Reserve. I mean, it's probably about 55, 56 kilometers back to Benalla. So it's still fairly accessible. It's, it's fa fairly well right on the edge of the Tadong Tommy Road um, up here in Toomblop. And you know, this was actually the site of the Toomblop East State School. So it's probably no wonder that when you pull in here and you have a look around, it is actually quite picturesque. It's not just the native bushland that you see with the you know, all the, the bushes and the gum trees around. There's, there's a few pine, really tall pine trees spread around the area and it makes it quite picturesque. I was just reading the, the board over there and it, it does say that um, springtime here is, can be quite nice because there is some old artifacts that will appear there and you can find them. And even there's some daffodils and bluebells mark the site of the original school house. A little bit about the campground itself. Um, like I said, it's not real big. You could probably fit a few different um, sites in here. There is two dedicated campsites with uh, table and chairs and campfire pit. Uh, there is a long drop toilet just over there and much like the toilet at the Stringybark Creek Reserve campground, it's quite clean and kept nice and tidy and fairly new in comparison to some of the campgrounds that you may visit. Again, just like this whole area up here on the campgrounds are kept quite nice and neat. Um, the grass here at the moment, middle of springtime is quite short. It's quite pleasant up here and it's quite beautiful actually there's there is a lot to very pretty and at the moment there's not much traffic on the road uh, I would believe that that road does get reasonably busy so just reading the board here and I'm going to go through it all um, I suggest you come up and have a read of it but this school site was never the original school site for the Toomblop area there was one over in the west um, but it was closed due to lack of numbers and it was believed by bringing it over here that there would be a greater attendance. This site here at the Toomblop East, it did operate between 1922 and 1959, um, but it did have a number of struggles reading, you know, by snowstorms making it hard for uh, students to make their way here. So, you know, what it has done is it's, it's left a beautiful campground and day visit area I suppose you could say because it's quite nice here the original schoolhouse that was built here is has since been moved to Tommy and according to the sign is sitting at the Tommy Recreation Reserve um, and is still being used to this day so that's that's pretty cool so it can still be found there so you know being seeing as it's only seven kilometers to Tommy um, it might even be a worth to go and check uh, worth it. So stand here over in the back corner of the campground, um, you would need to be fairly self-sufficient. So there is, unless you go plan on going for quite a nice little walk through that thick scrub over here to try and find a creek, um, your best bet will be to make sure that you are carrying plenty of water for your stay. Um, the little town of Tom is not far away, but that again, it doesn't carry a great deal. Your nearest town would be Mansfield to go and pick something up from there. You know, make sure if you come here, make sure you've got plenty of water for yourself and you camp here. Um, there is a drop toilet, so you do have toilet facilities here that you can go and check out or can go and use. Um, but like all 
uh, camp facilities, you are best to make sure that you are carrying your own toilet paper. What activities can you do around this um, old schoolhouse campsite? Well, there's four wheel driving, there's plenty of four wheel driving, dirt biking, bird watching, um, there'd be bushwalking, you know, there's plenty to do, hunting if you're into hunting, um, you could possibly do some horse riding. There's, there's quite a bit to do, similar to um, what's in the Stringy Bark Creek campsite. You know, the Cali Tree Walk and is not far away, so that's quite nice. You've got Tommy, which has got a beautiful little pub there, so you know, quite nice to go and check that out too and have a nice meal there. So you're not far away from stuff like that. Um, if you do come up winter, get to have a bit of plain snow, possibly. So, you know, plenty to do in this whole area. This campground, I feel would be a great little spot for, you know, a small group of campers. Um, ideally because there is not a heap of room. So, I mean, if there is a couple of different groups in here, um, you don't have a great deal of privacy. However, there's probably more than enough room between everyone that you can still have a couple of campsites here. Yeah, I think this, is, this would be quite a nice campsite to come and visit and have, have a few nights at. And, you know, steeped in a bit of history too. I do have a couple of other campsites for you to go and check out. So go and check out our campsite playlist and I'll see you over there where you can go and check out your next campsite.